So hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's me Marilyn again. So this video was taken uh, I think a month ago or two months ago before the typhoon ordered uh, ruin my sister house. So I am glad I still have the video. So this is their house. Uh, we have to walk. I mean travel from uh, Papa's house to be here for like almost or more than an hour, I guess. And this is their house. It's just made of bamboo and um, what do you call that? Uh, Kogon grass. I don't know what's exactly English for that, but yeah. And when I was there, when we are there, it's raining so bad, so it has come to the point that we have to stay in one place because there is a leak everywhere. So uh, I already conclude or I already expected that if there is a strong typhoon hits in here, this house will survive. And it's actually all wet here. You can see the structures and the foundation is really strong. Now that I know that their house was ruined by the Delta Audit, I have to travel from Dumaguete to Bayawan. They are actually living in some province or some uh, barangay in Bayawan. Those located in, uh, I forgot their, uh, but it's actually more than. 45 minutes, I guess, or more than 30 minutes away from Bayawan. So, me and my brother, we bought this um, steel roof and um, to bring it to their house. I just got in here from Dumaguete after two and a half hour travel. So, my brother will bring this roof to me there. And I would like to say thank you for the donator or the sponsor for this room. Thank you very much. So it's all complete now. The room, it has a 14 room because that's what he asked from me. From me. And uh, including the nails, the umbrella nails and Volcasio. So let's the adventure begin guys. We are going to ride up to the mountain. So this is gonna be an adventure vlog. So I'm not really familiar. I'm not driving there. This is the first time that I'm going to drive over there because they won't let me to drive over there using I mean I if I'm the one who drive. It's because of I'm not familiar with the blind core and um, the road as well is very small and um, yeah let's let's try so that's my brother um, he carried all the roof and if you're going to pay for the roof guys from Baya one to to her place you are going to pay a lot so uh, it's gonna be a little bit you know save uh, we can save more because my brother will be the one to to carry this one not carry but yeah you know what i mean anyway so this will be gonna take um more than 30 minutes or maybe 45 minutes so it depends on uh the traffic as well i mean there are some big trucks that you have to you have a hard time to pass because of uh, the road um, it's very small so yeah
almost an hour. Um, we almost get there, but we have to go through this um, rough road here. And you have to be careful because if you fail on the road and you're uh, you ride too fast, it's gonna be a lot of um, want. So you have to be careful. Plus, I have to drive slowly because my motorcycle is very lowered. I lowered my motorcycle, so and it's a rough road, so uh, um, I have to slow down.
so we are all here this is not actually her house we have to go downhill guys and my two brother will gonna carry those um steel roof so uh, seven each yeah they have to carry seven uh steel roof each of them so we have to park the motorcycle in here and just leave it here where are you gonna go up there i mean go down there or not up okay go down there if you will see i'm gonna zoom it there so it's gonna be um adventure while we are walking down i've seen my nephew and two nieces they are carrying those um charcoal sacks of charcoal because they're gonna bring those charcoal where we park our motorcycle so yeah and they made that charcoal as well by themselves so they help each other they have to work together so this is my um sister so this is the house of their neighbor where they can um, use during the day, but they can't sleep in here. So yeah, that's my sister. She just got home from charcoal. So, so we have to walk a little bit, uh, I think 10 minutes again, uh, to go to their old house uh, that um, Typhoon Ode throw in it. So we, you have to across this uh, river. Sometimes it's gonna be flooding in here, so they have a hard time to across this river as well. So uh, yeah. So this is her uh, old house. That roof was actually blown by the wind, the strong wind. But they just rebuilt it because they don't have any choice. Uh, they have to rebuild it as soon as possible so that they can uh, sleep there, all of them. So that's their new house to build. So they are just temporary, oh no, not temporary, but they sleep in here, all of them. So um, I don't have any pictures or video when uh, what it looks like when it was after the audit. So that's the house, guys, and... Uh, that's a very small house actually and um, I don't know if they were going to add more than that or any other extensions or what but I was just telling them I can only provide for for the main house I mean the main body of the house so there we go they were eating and um, yeah so when we get in here, um, they didn't have any food. That's why all of the family spend uh, their time to to finish that charcoal thing so that they can have their food. So I just uh, left uh, money for food and then um, it's not that much, but I hope they can. Uh, it will help them uh, before they get paid for this charcoal. So. Yeah, that little Uy. guy as well helped to <laughs> help on the track. Um, so that's why Uy. it was kind of like very dirty, <laughs> but still cute, you know. And I forgot to take a video about the solar. I also bought them a solar um, that's 25 watt so that it will help them to light up their house during at night. So I would like to say thank you to my uh, donator thank you very much Dan uh, so we are about to go home and my brothers help them to carry uh, two sacks um, of charcoal <coughs> to bring on the top <laughs> I'm <laughs> <laughs>